Morning guys, it's nice and early on this Wednesday morning. We got woken up super early this morning because Alex's dog was barking so much because there was a skunk in the front yard and it was going crazy. So it woke us up at 5.30 this morning. So we decided since it's so early, we might as well come and get the blood test that Alex needs to get. So we're currently at the hospital so she can get her blood test. So we're just gonna go sit in the waiting room and get the blood test done. But it ends up working out well because we've been waiting a while to do this. It's just hard because you can't eat late at night because you need to fast a little bit before so luckily Alex didn't eat late last night so now this morning we can go get the blood test so like I said we were totally not expecting to come to the hospital this morning to do the blood test we were gonna do it eventually but just we didn't think this morning but then because we got up so early we're like hey why not but I didn't get a chance to eat anything for breakfast and I'm so hungry so I just walking across the street now to get uh, to see if I can find like a little breakfast place like a corner store or a little coffee shop or something because I know there's a building over here with like a little strip mall inside of it. So I'm just going to walk across the street. Alex is with her mom and her grandmother because her grandmother's also getting a blood test this morning. That's sort of why we decided to go because we were up early and her mom was like, hey, you want to come with us? We're going to get a blood test. And we're like, okay, sure. So that's where I'm off to now. And I'm going to head back. They're waiting for a long time. So I'm going to be back way before Alex goes in. But uh, I'm going to try to film when we're in there. I'm not sure how much I'm allowed to film. In the waiting room, it's super, super, super quiet and like it's it's rude if you're talking a lot. So I'm definitely not going to film in the waiting room, but I might film when we get into the blood test room when we're by ourselves. I'll see. I'll try to film what I can. Alex, you did it. You did it. How was it? Bad. <laughs> did it hurt? Yeah. Yeah? It was weird. It looked weird. Like this was way different than the one I got last time. The one I got last time was just like, I guess one tube, but it was super quick. This was three tubes. This one I, I felt the needle going in. And, and a pee test. <laughs> yeah, and I almost fainted. I like, I don't know if you guys have ever fainted before, but I faint kind of, not often, but like I fainted a lot in my life. And like, I start to see stars and then like I get really sweaty and my heart starts racing and then I'm like I start to see like tunnel vision I'm like oh no here it comes I'm just gonna faint so the guy was just like talking to me and made me like stay like sitting down and relax and then it was fine you did a good job I've been putting off this blood test for, for two years two years because <laughs> she's been too scared but finally she got it done like it's not bad okay for me I get tattoos like I don't find those I don't find needles gross it's the fact that the blood's coming out of it. Yeah, it's the concept. I love the way they cut their apples here. Look at this. Perfect. And then if you just open it up. It's so cool. Alex, what'd you get? Fruit, potatoes, and some egg. Yum. Every time we come here, I always try to arrange the milk and cream in like a flower shape. So I put like a ring around and then I try to fill the middle. But today they didn't have enough. So I got some cottage cheese with fruit and a bagel with some cream cheese to put on top. How's your bobo? It's good. Catherine's mending it. Yes. <laughs> She's a good girl. Big girl. What you, <laughs> good girl. What are you guys up to today? Uh, you have a stain on your nose. Yeah, I spilled the uh, salsa. We're gonna watch yesterday. a probably Johnny Depp movie because yeah. we do this thing mm. where like every time I come over we watch a different Johnny Depp movie. But like his older films. Yeah, like when he was younger. Ones. We have like an obsession of watching all of his old movies. <laughs> Shaka was really good. Oh, Shaka La was. I think it was my favorite. Me too. Just his hair and everything was just so good. That was so good. Yeah. It's a good movie. What are you doing, Dan? I'm going to work. Have <laughs> fun. And then I'm going to bed early. Oh, because you have morning practice. Yeah, I've what worked. What time do you have to get up again in the morning? I woke up at 4:50. What? To go cook. <laughs> I did not think it was that <laughs> Yeah. It's like dark when you wake up. Yeah, it's still dark for oh, sure. Oh man. Wow. Oh, we're moving the clocks ahead this weekend. Yeah, on Saturday so that night. That means at like 7.30 it's still going to be bright. You lose you lose an hour of sleep, but it makes it better because it makes it brighter later yeah. at night. I don't really sleep anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> it's nice that they do it on Saturday because then you just sleep in on Sunday anyway. I'm in New so York, which makes it that our trip is shorter. Oh, boo. Aww. We're going to have so much fun though. I'm so excited. Yeah. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Bye. So today is a day where I can switch from my winter coat over to my fall jacket. It's one of those rare days where it's so warm in the winter that you can actually wear your fall jacket instead of your winter jacket because that one over there, the black one, is too hot today. I'm sweating in it. Now this is one of those sort of like dilemma days where I have about two hours before I have to be at work and I'm a little bit extra tired because I got up early this morning and helped Alex at the blood test clinic. So do I want to go work out before work or do I want to take the day off and just sort of chill and relax? I don't know what to do. First I'm going to go brush my teeth and clean up and then I'll probably make the decision after. I'm not sure. 
sure. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. I don't know. So I decided that yes, I will go do a quick little workout before work because tonight when I get home, I'm probably just gonna wanna sit around and play PS4 or do some editing. I'm gonna be sitting around tonight. I might as well go and get my butt moving a little bit this afternoon. So I'm just gonna go do something quick, nothing too, too, too hard because I am tired. So I might just do some cardio or something easy, but at least it'll be a little bit of a workout, still something today. It's pretty crazy because it's only March 9th today. So it's still early March, but it feels like a late April day. It's so warm and everything's melting. There's water all over the streets because all the snow is melting. And you can see like the dirt underneath the snow on the side of the road because as it melts, it sort of exposes all the dirt that's there. But it's so weird. It's so, so, so warm today for early March. I'm wondering if this kind of weather is going to keep or if it's going to get cold again and start snowing. I don't know. For right now, I'm really enjoying this warm weather because hopefully it's a sign of early spring. Keep our fingers crossed, but there's no way to really know. They sort of can guess the weather coming, but it's never exact and we're never really going to know until a few days or a week before. But I'm wondering if this warm weather is going to stay all the way through March and into April. Hopefully. Hey guys, just got home from work. How are you guys doing? I had a good day at work today. It's getting close to being still light out when I leave work at 6.30. And on Saturday, we push the clocks ahead an hour. So definitely then I'll be getting light by the time I leave work. But it's very, very close. Maybe on Friday, if I'm lucky, I'll get a peak of sunlight when I leave work. But I just got home and I'm about to eat dinner. And I wanted to show you guys this because this is something that I've always like appreciated and loved about my parents and my family is that ever since I was a kid, we've always, always had well-balanced, home-cooked, healthy meals. And it's something that I grew up like learning to do and love and appreciate and do for myself and it's still something that I do for myself but I just want to show you what I had left in the fridge today for me for dinner because my parents are gone no one's home right now but they left me a plate for dinner this is what they made so every night it's always so well balanced and it's got everything you need so today we have two chicken drumsticks with some little breading on top then some nice scallop potatoes that's my favorite kind it's like potatoes mixed with a little bit of cheese baked in the oven and then always vegetables always 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 lots of vegetables broccoli and corn today. Every meal I've always had since I was a kid has been well balanced like this and a good mix of everything. Obviously like everybody we always have a few meals that aren't as well balanced. We'll order pizza, we'll have junk food when there's a big football game on, you know we'll make something a little bit less unhealthy but like every night 99% of the time when I come home, when I came home from school or I came home from work, no matter when, I've always had a nice balanced meal like this. And I just, I'm so thankful for that because it taught me to make that for myself too. So guys, the rest of this vlog is going to end up being pretty boring because I'm not doing anything. I'm home from work. I just finished dinner and I have to go to sleep early because I work super early tomorrow morning. So I have to get to bed at a good hour. Plus this morning I was already up early. So I'm really, really tired. I'm just going to hang out tonight. I don't know what I'll do. Who knows? But I'm going to go get some snacks right now because I'm still a little bit hungry after dinner so I'm gonna see what I have I think I have some leftover candy from when Alex and I went to the store on the weekend I think it was something around then so I'm gonna go see if I have some of that yes I'm in luck found some Skittles and some chocolate covered cranberries perfect probably won't eat all of these because this is a lot of candy but I'll just have a little bit while I sit here and relax so I don't know if you guys are like this but for me my favorite flavor of any candy or a popsicle or basically any artificial flavor is orange is my absolute favorite favorite flavor so for skittles the orange ones are by far the best do you guys have a favorite flavor like i know some people like red because it tastes like cherry sometimes strawberry people like blue because it's like blue raspberry people like green sometimes because it's like sour green apple but let me know do you guys have a favorite flavor of candy or of sweets like what's your favorite color to eat so i was just getting ready to go to bed and then i realized that I don't vlog tomorrow on Thursdays because I do my cooking video, so I'm going to finish the video for you guys tomorrow morning so I get a little bit of extra footage in there so the video is not too short because I know you guys like it better when they're a little bit longer, the videos. So I'm going to go to bed now. When I wake up tomorrow morning, I'll continue the vlog. I'm going to try and do a neat trick here. I'm going to say goodnight and then I'm going to wake up with you guys in the morning. All right? So I hope you guys have a wonderful night. If it's the morning for you, have a good morning. If you're going to bed, have a good night. But I am going to go to sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
And we're back guys, welcome to the next day. It's currently 5.05 .05 in the morning. Still warm out, it's about 10 degrees today, so still springtime like yesterday, snow's melting. But I'm just heading off to work now. Last night I slept like, like I was dead. Like this morning I woke up, my alarm went off, and I was like, what is going on? I was so exhausted. I still got enough sleep, but just like really, really tired. So I don't know, maybe it's because I didn't sleep a lot the night before too. I don't know, but I'll be all right. Just going to coach now, so I'll see you guys after work. Man, the amount of snow that melted this morning, crazy. I guess it was really warm all night because, man, there's like no snow left. There's just a lot of dirt now. <laughs> That's one of the bad things about springtime. I mean, it's not really springtime yet. It's sort of like fake springtime because I'm sure it's going to get cold again. But when it gets warm after the winter, all the snow melts and it gets so dirty. Because all the dirt that was hiding in the snow isn't hiding anymore because the snow's gone and it's super, super dirty. And then it takes like a few weeks of raining for it to wash all the dirt away and make it a little bit cleaner. But I just finished work this morning and now I'm heading home. I'm gonna make myself some breakfast. I'm pretty starving right now. I had a glass of orange juice before going to work because I wasn't that hungry this morning when I got up. So I only had orange juice, but now I'm starving. So I'll go home, I'll see what I need to make, and then I'm gonna film today's video. Today I'm filming a healthy snack, sort of like an alternative to junk food that you can make instead so that it's a little bit more healthy. And it's something that I try to do fairly often. I mean, it's it's good to still have the junk food because you know we gotta eat for health, but we also wanna eat every now and then for pleasure because eating is something that can be very enjoyable and you don't wanna deprive yourself too much of good food. But it's also important to stay healthy and make sure you're having a well-balanced diet and eating lots and lots and lots of really good nutrient-rich food. So I'll show you guys a few of my healthy snack options when I get home. And yeah, but before I film, I'm going to edit today's video. So I'm just finishing up these last few clips here and then I'll put them in the video and edit it. And then I'll upload it for you guys. Look what the cats love to do in the morning. Mess up the carpet. He wants to go crazy and eat the carpet. Especially when he chases his piece of paper. Get it. And this one over here wants some food. Hey, you want some food, CC? Did you eat yet this morning? No? All right, I'll get you some food. But they got their breakfast this morning, and I'm making mine. So I'm making a ham and cheese and egg sandwich. I'm toasting the bread. Got my ham there. Egg just finished in the microwave in my cool little egg cooker. I'm gonna put the sandwich together now. There we have the finished product, and I'm gonna have it with a yogurt and a plum. This will be my full breakfast this morning. All right guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys had an awesome day, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching again, as always. What I want you guys to do today is share in the comment section, or if you don't wanna share it in the comment section, you can write it down at home personally, or just remember it yourself, but write down something to day that made you really, really, really happy. No matter what day we have, no matter what's going on during that day, we should always try to find at least one thing in that day that made us happy, something that was good. So I want you guys to write down something that made you happy. You can share it in the comment section or just write it at home. So I shared, I shared a quote on Twitter once that I saw online and it said that not every day is a good day, but every day has something good. And that's sort of what I want you guys to think about is that even if we didn't have the best, best, best day, we could still find at least something small that was really good in that day. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of the videos. And I hope you guys have a very, very, very wonderful day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.